hung around a lot at the restaurant because my dad was there a lot. And my dad used to, you know, just say, you know, Ricky, here's, here's a buck 50, uh, go to El Taco, uh, go to Newberry's counter and get a burger and a, and, a, and a milkshake or a root beer float. But one day, I'll never forget, my dad said, look at Ricky, you gotta do me a favor. He goes, uh, here's a buck 50. He goes, go down to the bowling alley on Pacific and ask for Frenchie and, and give him this envelope. I said, okay, what's in the envelope? You don't need to know, just give him the envelope. Right, so I walked down, I think it's on 16th or 17th, there was a bowling alley there and there was a little cafe there, right? So I go walking in there and I said, uh, yeah, um, uh, my dad's Pepe, he sent me here and uh, I need to see Frenchie. They go, well, Frenchie's in the back, what do you need him for? I said, well, my dad has an envelope for him. Oh, okay, just wait right here, kid, right? So anyway, pretty soon Frenchie came out and he said, oh, hi, yeah, yeah. He goes, your peppy son, Ricky, right? I go, yeah, yeah, yeah. I go, my dad told me to hand you this, you know, the envelope. He goes, oh, that's awful nice of your dad. So then I said, oh, uh, can I sit at the counter and get a cheeseburger and, and, and a fry and a soda? My dad gave me $1.50. Oh, don't worry about it, Ricky. Just sit down. He'd tell the guy behind the counter, just take care of the kid. Just take care of the kid. Well, it wasn't until years later that I realized Frenchie was a bookie. So I was delivering the money for the bets, okay? I was basically running the money from my father to the bookie, you know.